Hi everyone, I'm Ellen McGratton, president of the Society for Economic Dynamics. Uh, here to tell you some news about our upcoming annual meeting. Um, I'm sharing my screen and hopefully this is working. Um, I'm up on our website and you can see this is the 2021 annual meeting in Minneapolis. Um, as many of you know, we had to postpone our original 2020 meeting in Barcelona and our original plan before uh, the getting further news on the global pandemic was to have the Barcelona meeting in 2021, but that was not uh, possible. So we, in basically in December, decided with the local committee there that we were gonna postpone that meeting and we are going to be doing that in 2024. In the meanwhile, we did not want to skip another SED, and um, we are going to be doing it in Minneapolis this year. Uh, before I give you uh, the details of that, I should say that, um, that there are a lot of thank yous, especially to our program chairs, Duran Fitzgerald and Nir Jamovich, who have basically organized two meetings because they had done all the work necessary for the Barcelona meeting uh, when we got news that we were gonna have to postpone. And they have uh, single-handedly done an annual meeting over two years. Um, and I wanna thank them very much. I also wanna thank the officers of the SED, Marina Azamanti and Erwan Quinton who have, basically been my right hand uh, uh, people throughout this, helping me with uh, doing all the decision making and figuring out how to get the website revamped and getting, you know, opening the bank, closing the bank, opening the bank again. So I wanna thank the officers um, this year. We're gonna have uh, local officers, my colleagues Anmal Bandari, uh, Kyle Herkenhoff, Hannes Malmberg, and Joseph Mullins. And I wanna thank the staff at Minnesota, uh, Kirsten Uverson and Kara Kerst Kerstetter, who are helping us along with um, what will be a, a large team of local people like our graduate students helping us uh, put together what should be a pretty fun program. We're gonna have, we'll have 800 papers this year. As many of them are going to be via Zoom because we can't, you know, obviously it's uh, too difficult to have travel from all over the world, but we are gonna have an in-person segment. There were, uh, we have basically capacity for 300 people. So I'm hoping to make it as normal a meeting, normal, i.e. not 2020 normal, but 2019 normal, um, a fun, meeting for, for anybody who can, who is eligible to come. We had to put some restrictions on it. Um, we need to have people vaccinated or we're requiring people to be vaccinated and to be in the United States uh, because um, we would have been unable to, to really have a non-virtual part of the meeting. So what's happening this week? People who are interested, who have, who are eligible, and who are um, interested in coming, are sending in CD, you know, proof of uh, vaccination to our local uh, website. So they would have gotten an email. Um, we still have the Barcelona plenary speakers: Emmy Nakamura, Guido Mencio, Nicola Fuchs. And we're very excited uh, you know, to be having these great scholars talking about their research. Uh, Guido will actually be coming in person. Emmy and Nicola will uh, Zoom in. Um, I wanna say that things will be, you know, the second registration will be open and the final deadline will be May 14th. We'll open it once we give passwords and links on May 7th. And then there will be a week for those who are going to register for this for the in person. Um, uh, the the deadline will be May fourteen. As things are um, 
as things come in, as we get all of the information we need, you'll find these things uh, here on our website. So we'll be filling in local information. We'll be filling in details of the program and social events. Um, we're putting all of that together. Um, so, you know, stay tuned, to, you know, come to this site and, and see what's going on. Um, in terms of the other news, uh, we have, for those of you who keep up with my newsletters, we've moved the 20, we've moved the Taipei meeting and the Cartagena meeting one year. So those will be 2022 and 2023 respectively. Um, I'm happy to announce that the local organizers for the Taipei meeting will be Yang Xin and Yan Bai. Um, they are going to be the program chairs. Uh, Ping Wang and his team in Taipei will be um, doing the local arrangements. It'll be hosted by uh, Academia Sinica. And they've done many conferences and I hear I haven't been, but I've heard great things about all the conferences. And uh, David Perez will be heading up the local team in Cartagena. And that conference is gonna be co-hosted by the University of Los Andes and University Tecnologico de Bolivar. Um, Uni Andes and UTB are the shorthand. Um, we had some great sessions in the ASSA this year. I wanna thank Oleg uh, Itch Itchkaki, um, Yuren Ma and Larry Cristiano for putting together sessions. We also had a special tribute um, for Emmanuel Fari and the link for that tribute, uh, all of his students and colleagues, I wanna thank them for that. Um, put together a really beautiful video uh, and that you can find on our website, um, which I encourage everybody to uh, go see. So that's the updated news. Everything I've just said will be in the president's letter uh, up online. And I do, I wanna encourage people who can and who are eligible to come to our summer meeting to come. Um, we're very excited here in Minneapolis. We'll be sharing all the important information. I'll be filling in what you can see and do here in Minneapolis. Um, and we look forward to seeing all of you in July. Thank you.